when we can implement these type of algorithm when we have a large environment and large search space those time we can implement this type of informed search algorithm here this algorithm attempts to find the most promising path from the given start point to the goal point local optima means the path we have chosen using the best for search algorithm may not be the best path Hello everyone, welcome to the one more session on Artificial Intelligence and Application for 6th semester BCA student. We are discussing on Unit 2 that is Problem Solving Using Searching. In today's session, we are going to discuss Informed Search Algorithm that is a greedy search. In that, we are going to discuss Best First Search. Myself, Indu J, Faculty of Computer Science Department, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Let us start today's session. What is informed search algorithm? We have already discussed what is informed search algorithm where we should have some knowledge about the goal, what we are trying to reach. So that is what, uh, how we are providing the knowledge. Let us see. Informed search algorithm contains an array of knowledge such as how far we are from the goal node and what is the path and what is the cost to reach the goal node. Such information will be provided to search the particular node in the given graph or the tree. So that's why we are using it, we are calling it as an informed search algorithm. This knowledge helps the agent to explore the less search space. Why this knowledge imbibing in the algorithm? Because making search very easy, very fast, the agent who is, uh, who is working under that particular environment can limit his search for the particular space. That is the reason why we are giving some information of the goal node. Informed search algorithm is more useful for the larger search page. When we can implement this type of algorithm, when we have a large environment and large search space, those time we can implement this type of informed search algorithm. Informed search algorithm is also called as heuristic search. What is heuristic means? Some knowledge. We are providing some information. What is heuristic? What is the cost of the node? How much cost it takes to reach from one node to the other node? Or what is the estimated cost to reach from the current node to the goal node those all information will be given as in a heuristic information or as in, in the form of heuristic functions that's why we call it as a heuristic search next in the informed search algorithm uh, have a information about the goal state we should know which is our goal state where we are reaching exactly which helps you more efficient in searching for example real life example i can put you want to go to uh, mysore palace right you should know the goal you will be having so many ways to go to mysore palace but you will select which is the optimum one or you can select which is the shortest path or you can select which uh, in which path the traffic is very less right like that depending on the situation or the criteria we are changing the path of reaching the goal state so when you know the goal where we have to reach you can opt any of these paths so that is what they are saying you should know you have a information about the goal state this information is obtained by something called as heuristic i have already told you how we are going to get the information how far it is from the current state how far goal state is from the current state there are three types of uh, search algorithm informed search algorithm we are going to discuss in the syllabus that is a greedy search in that we are discussing Discussing a best first search. This is also called as BFS, but it is not breadth first search. This is a best first search. Okay, then A star and A star search algorithm. Let us see what is best first search or BFS. We call it as BF. Yes. Dear students, don't get confused between a breadth first search and the best first search. This is an informed search algorithm. Another BF is uninformed search algorithm. Okay. Here this algorithm attempts to find the most promising path from the given start point to the goal point. How we are calculating which will be the promising state? 
which uh, for example i just now have given to reach the mysore palace i may opt the path which has very less traffic right so that is a promising path for me for other implementation which is a shortest path may be the promising path for you okay like that it will try to find the promising path for uh, reaching the goal from the start point it is prioritize the path that appears to be most promising regardless whether it is actually shortest path or not we are concentrating on what we are concentrating on promising path not on the shortest path okay the algorithm works by eventually the cost of each possible path and then expanding the path to the lowest cost for example if i say uh, this is my tree a b c d like that if it is a my start state so if it is a goal state it is a start state and if it is a goal state we have provided some cost or the information like 30 uh from 30 what i can give uh, 10 here it is uh, 15 then it is zero uh, okay like uh, for example if you have these many notes what is this 30 stands for 30 is a cost to reach from start state to the goal state okay and 10 is a cost of reaching uh, from the current state that is b to the goal state that is d so what i am exactly trying to say here algorithm evaluates the cost of each possible path and then extend the path with the lowest cost here from the node a where i am reaching i can reach to the node b and i can reach to the node c a from b and from a we are reaching c so now we have to check the cost which is a cost of a from b is 10 and a to c is 15 so which is a lowest cost here 10 is a lowest cost so it will take the path from a to b not as a to c if you have provided like this also it does not take from a to c then what is the cost we have here from b to d what is the cost we have 0 0 and c to d what is the cost we are having 7 right from b to c what is the cost we are having 0 and c to d we are having the cost as 7 so which is the optimal it will take it will take the lowest cost so what would be the path from a to d is a to b b to d we are reaching the goal state from the starting state like that it will always choose compare the uh, children of the parent node and compare the less costed node for as its path so that is what they are trying to say here next uh, how greedy best for search is going to work so that's what i just now i explained you with example let's see the theoretical part of it search for uh, best for search works with by evaluating the cost of each possible path and then expanding the path with the lowest cost right the algorithm uses the heuristic function what is heuristic function h of node a right h of node a to determine which path is a most promising path then the heuristic functions take in account of the cost of current path and the estimated cost of remaining path that is h of y of how we are going to calculate so h of node n is equal to f of n plus cost we are going to calculate what is a h of n that is a heuristic function for the node which are which currently you are in that gives what is the cost from reaching to the goal node and what is a cost involved okay what is the weight of that cost and what is the cost involved this how we are going to calculate the heuristic function if the cost of the current path is lower than the estimated cost if the cost of current path is lower than the estimated cost the remaining path then the current path will be chosen which we are choosing which is a low cost one will be choosing this process is repeated until the goal is reached we are repeating the same process until the goal is reached let's say take an example here what we are doing we are creating the two list called open list and 
closed list. We are creating a two list called open list and closed list. What we are putting in the open list will be putting the stat pointer, stat node or initial node in the open list. What is the initial node in our example in the given graph? A is a stat node or A is a initial node we can say. So we will put the initial node in the open list. After putting the initial node in the open state, we have to check what all the path A is reaching to. We are re A will be reaching to D, C and B, right? So what all the path we are reaching? A, B, C and D, right? Now we have to check what is the cost of each node. What is the cost of each node? From A to B, we have a 32. From A to C, we have uh, 25. From A to D, what we have is 35. So, which is the lowest cost? Lowest cost is A to C, right? A to C is the lowest cost. Once we found the particular path, we should put that path into the closed list, that A and C. We are reaching from A to the C, this path has chosen. Okay, then after that, this will be removed from the open list. What we have in the open list? B and D. Right, from the C, where exactly we are reaching? We are reaching to E and F. From C, we are reaching E and F. So, what we have to do now? From E and F. Right, we have to check which is the shortest path here. A from C to F, we have a 17. From C to E, we have a 19. So, which is the shortest path? Shortest path is with this A, C and F. 17 is less than 19, right? So, F will be in the closed list. So, remove F from the open list. So, what we have here now? B, D and E. From we have to check whether this F node is a goal node or the goal state. Yeah, if yes, we have to stop the iteration and we have to return the value as true to the function. That is, we have found the searched element or searching element. If it is not equal to the goal, sto goal state, then we have to check for next descendant of that particular node. We have to check for what? Next descendant of that particular node. Now what we have here, next descendant of the particular node uh, F is B, D, E and what we are going to G. Right? Only one descendant we are having. So, for that successor we are having one descendant or I can call it a successor. So, for that what is the cost? From F to G what is the cost is 0. Right? So, for that will be the shortest part. Nothing is less than 0 and we are having only one successor not more than one successor. So, we have to move it on the same direction. So, in that case what it should be A, C, F and G. Right? So, this is a stat node. This is a goal node. So, we are reaching using these these nodes as a path. So, what is a path we are getting from A we are reaching to C. From C, we are reaching to F. From F, we are reaching to the goal state. That is what we have depicted in this particular picture. From stat node, it is taking, comparing 35, 25 and 32. As 25 is very less, then A moves to, uh, path moves from A node to the C node. Then after C, uh, in the C node, what we are doing in the C node, it will check for the uh, node E and F, where F is very smaller, then it will move towards the F node. Next, what after uh, F node, what we are doing? We are checking for the F node. What is the successor for the F node? We have only one successor that is G. So, we are reaching to the goal node, right? Once we reach the goal node, the cost will be zero. Why? Because what is this? We are giving the value as this is a cost to reach the goal node, right? From this particular node, what is the cost to uh, reach the goal node is 40. 
from 30 uh, from node d what is the cost to reach the goal node is 35 from c cost to reach the goal node is 25 like that so as when we are reaching the value becomes zero so this is how the uh, best first search is gonna work hope you understood let's see the advantage and disadvantage of the best first search as we are seeing it's easy to implement as we have a prior information about the heuristic values, how much uh, cost it needed to reach the goal node. So simple and easy to implement is the main advantage of best first search, fast and efficient because we have no, we can compare the values directly and it is very fast and efficiently we can find the searching elements low memory required it require very less memory to execute the searching part and then it is flexible it can be applied to different applications not only in one application we can use a bfs informed bfs in different application it is very flexible and it is very efficient as it is taking a less cost we are mainly concentrating a less cost it is very efficient we can such the element very fast in terms of time efficiency. The disadvantage what we have in best first search is the inaccurate result as it is not concentrating on the shortest path or the optimal solution. It only concentrating on the lowest cost solution. It is giving the inaccurate result. That means we are not getting the optimal solution. Local optima means the path we have chosen using the best first search algorithm may not be the best path. Okay, that is called as local optimum. Heuristic function, we may have to add some complexions uh, to find the heuristic value of that particular node. So that can also be one disadvantage and lack of completeness. Completeness means it may not reach to the searching element. Uh, it may stuck, uh, stuck in somewhere finding the lowest cost. So if it is a graph is very large and tree is very large in the large search space we are working on, then it will uh, stuck in some loops because it always try to find the shortest cost or the lowest cost. So these are the uh, disadvantage what we have in a greedy best first search algorithm and then applications of a greedy best first search is pathfinding where we have to find the lowest path we can implement this type of algorithm it can be implemented in machine learning when we are implementing the machine learning algorithms so informed search or heuristic search we are using the uh, greedy first uh, best first search algorithm optimization when we have to find the optimal solution or the prioritized solution then we are using the optimization it can be used in the uh, application development like gaming using AI artificial intelligence it will be used in the navigations as I given you the example from here you want to reach to the Mysore palace it will give you the different path and it, you can choose the path you want navigation and natural language processing convert when we are uh, converting the natural language processing or when we are working on the natural language processing conversion or speech to, uh, like uh, one language to other language conversion or speech to uh, text conversion like that whatever we are working on the nlp then we are also using the greedy best for search algorithm and it is also used in the image processing. So we can say that we can use this best first algorithm in almost all applications of AI like NLP, image processing, uh, gaming, navigation and uh, machine learning. All the application uses depends on the problem what we are solving. We are supposed to select the algorithm using these for all these application we can use a best first search algorithm. Thank you.